You'll have to excuse the uh, weird lighting going on with today's video. Uh, it's actually raining outside right now, which is a little bit weird. Uh, doesn't really happen too often, especially this early in the day. But, um, yeah, whatever, we'll go with it. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome to uh, Wednesday's video. Uh, today we got a match versus someone by the name of a Winter Necro, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Well, not really that unconventional of a match. Just some things went really good for me. And uh, you'll you'll go ahead and see that. So we'll go ahead and play back right now. Okay, so kind of standard casual things, and then I brought a Pikachu. I mean, I, I've, I've heard of Garavire and stuff. I mean, it's like, why, why not try Garachu? It can't be all bad, right? So anyway, he's going to lead with a uh, Lander, so I'm going to go ahead and lead with Kajando. Uh, he's more than likely Scarf, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with the Fake Out, because that's what Kajando does when it's put in the lead slot. Um, he turns out to go to a Scizor. I really don't care. I just want to get damage on something. I have Regenerator. I might as well, you know, just do it. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. So... Uh, gonna go ahead and switch out and go to my uh, my Gyarados, who I thought actually had Intimidate, but it turns out that when I made him in 5th gen, um, I gave him Moxie, which actually is released, so don't, don't even worry about it. But, um, yeah, I did not take that as well as I thought I would, because, you know, uh, he's still at neutral instead of having a minus one. But anyway, Rotom comes in. I'm kind of thinking he's gonna overpredict and try to burn my switch in, or burn me and not go for the T-Bolt straight out, so I taunt him, he doesn't get the Will-O-Wisp, and I go out to Pikachu to take the Thunderbolt. Um, Lightning Rod Pikachu was released on July 30th, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, we actually took this match on the 29th, someone pointed that out, I was like, oh shit, I'm sorry, but uh, it was literally like four hours before uh, the 30th anyway, so it wasn't really too big a deal, if anything, just ship it before today and you're all good to go. But, um... I have the sub set up, we're talking about it in the stream, it's like, go for another sub in case the Landers wants to U-turn to break it. And, uh, I do have the Lightning Rod boost, and this is a max HP scissor, we did a damage calc immediately after, and I got pretty close to minimum. That is supposed to do to max HP scissor somewhere around, like, 110% max, and, like, 97, 96 being the lower end, so I was like, god damn it, now we broke it. And uh, I could have swept here because I do have uh, HP Ice as another one of my attacking moves. I think I have Nasty Plot on this thing. Sub, Nasty Plot, and uh, two moves. So, not terrible. But um, I go out to Gyarados who's going to take the U-turn or the, you know, not the Earthquake. Um, I don't care if he gets Switch Initiative because in comes Rotom again. And it's like, now that I have Garachu going on <laughs> against this thing, it really doesn't matter. But uh, I missed the Stone Edge, he misses the Hydro Pump, so kind of a waste of turn. I'm like, you know what, he's going to try to burn me on this one. I have a feeling he's going to do it, and he does it. So I'm absolutely trolling the shit out of this Rotom, which I found I found absolutely hilarious. Anyways, uh, Landers comes in, I do hit my Stone Edge this time, but you know, because I'm Jolly Gyarados, well, you don't know at this uh, exact moment that I'm Jolly, but... Um, you know, I could be outspeeding Rotom if it's running max speed. I think with Jolly, maybe I could be wrong, but uh, more than likely bulky Rotom. Anyways, uh, since Landers is in, I'm expecting the Stone Edge, so I just go out to Kajando to take it. Um, he probably expects me to go for the Fake Out, or he just wants something else to take it. But I actually go for the High Jump Kick right off the bat. Whatever comes in, I know I can decimate it. He's not going to go for another Stone Edge. Um, anything that comes in is definitely going to feel the pain. I don't know why he didn't go to Celebi on that. Um, to take the fake out, depending on what kind of cell he's running, but, uh, I don't know, whatever, just little things I'm thinking about. So I go for the U-turn, uh, I'm gonna go out to Gera, possibly a switch fodder, uh, in case he goes for it, but he misses the will -Wisp again. I'm gonna say that this really doesn't matter, uh, both of them combined kind of did, one of them didn't, uh, mainly because I have the Lumberry and I have the Taunt going on, so I can prevent it at any time, I'm not really understanding why he hasn't killed me at this point, he's just insisting on dicking around. Get a crit on Lucario, um, you're going to see right now that it plays absolutely no bearing to it, because I'm going to go for the Waterfall, it does bring him down really low, but looking at that damage, it's going to be a 2 hit KO after this anyway, because I'm running Jolly Gera and not Adamant, I'm actually able to outspeed this, I'm guessing Modest Lucario, I'm not really familiar with base speeds, but I think I outspeed it by a little bit, by a hair. So, um, Waterfall's gonna go ahead and finish him off, and they're gonna go ahead and get my, uh, my Moxie boost going on, and I believe Rotom comes in yet again. Um, I think I wanted to go for the Waterfall just because it was, you know, 100% accuracy. I don't want Stone Edge missing and having him, uh, slam me with the T-Bolt. And he goes for the Hydro Pump instead of actually predicting Pikachu to come in, and I'm like, no, um, I don't have any setup, you still have Landorus, Celebi's still faster, anything can finish me off at this point, um... So, yeah. Anyways, uh, since he didn't kill me off with Hydro Pump, I didn't kill him off with Waterfall. I am faster. Uh, BB gets two kills in a row. Uh, not really as rusty as he used to be, so. Alright, doing good. Anyways, uh, Landers comes in. I know it's 
I might as well just leave it in uh, BB in to die because uh, you know switch initiative and all that and uh, yeah I think he has this and he has Celebi and he has this rinky dink scissor left so I have a Magnezone which is a big fuck you to any variant of scissor um, he's gonna go for the bullet punch because he's paralyzed and uh, he wouldn't be able to get hit off normally um, I was kind of expecting him to go for the superpower if he had it um, I never really found out if he did have it or not uh, he's probably got bullet punch and like uh, I don't know, I saw Bullet Punch and I saw U-Turn, I don't know what else he has, but Bullet Punch is quad resisted, so I get a free sub, essentially, and um, I'm just going to take him out with an HP Fire, so it really doesn't matter. Um, he's Celebi and he has Landorus at this point, I know for a fact. So, Landorus from that range, I feel like I can take it out with the Flash Cannon, because my hidden power is fire, you know, for Ferrothorns and all that. Uh, he's going to go for the Earthquake to break my sub, I brought two, why did I bring two Electric types to this match? I just noticed that. Anyways, that thing could have wrecked me, but it didn't, which is lovely. Um, I do have two ground resists, which is probably what I was thinking when I slapped this thing together, and then I think I have two ground neutrals. Anyways, um, able, able to take out the uh, main threat to this thing, and uh, oh right, he has men slapped, he has men slapped. Could be problematic, I don't remember how I handled this. Uh, so he DDs up, predicting this switch. I'm glad I did not switch, to be perfectly honest, because um, I knew this thing would have killed me one way or another, would have killed my whole team one way or another. So if I'm going to get damage on it, it's going to be during uh, the turn that he expects me to switch out, but I don't want him to switch out. I'm just going to fucking slap him with a T-Bolt. Anyways, uh, going to hit me with an Earthquake, take me out, I really don't care. Um, oh, what do I have left for this? I'm so... Oh, no, 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 Okay, so I still have Kajana, right? My plan is, is a fake out or two is probably going to end up taking this thing out or to force a switch. And uh, one fake out does not kill it because I'm running, I think I'm running a Jolly main Shao. Like, I've been saying Kajana the whole match, haven't I? I should be saying main Shao. Anyways, um, I go into uh, Sawsbuck, and I guess he does predict that, but I kind of wanted him to predict that. Um, mainly because, you know, I could resist the Earthquake, but then he'd probably just end up going for another Earthquake of Earth Outrage. If he kept spamming Earthquakes, that would have been my ass. Um, uh, actually, no, not necessarily, because the same thing would have happened. We would just gone out to uh, Main Shao again and faked it out again. But uh, it would have either forced a switch or, yeah, we could have just gone from there. But still ended up working out for me. Anyways, this last one turns out to be a uh, Celebi. Gonna hit it with the uh, four times effective U-turn. Don't know what kind of variant of Celebi this is. I think defensive one can barely, barely live it with like a, a, a smidgen, a smidge, a smidgen as NBZ puts it. But um, he does not, so I'm gonna take him out and that's the game. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, it really helps out my channel. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe to your thing. Um, I think that'll do it for Wednesday's upload. My dad wants me to pull weeds right now. I think it's raining. I really don't want to. But the ground's gonna be all nice and moist, so I can like, I can do that, and then I'll just like look at my comments using uh, the email app on my iPod on in the backyard or whatever. Anyways, I got shit to do, so hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll, I will catch you guys on um, Friday.